Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Jules and I love playing with makeup. So if you really like makeup videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be trying to do a lot of videos because this is really fun. Um, but anyway, if you kinda wanna see how I did this makeup look today, we played with some glitter, did some red lips. Uh, just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so first I'm gonna start out by priming my eyes with my, oh, it's coming off it. Um, my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Sorry, but I've been using it so much the label kind of came off. Okay, next, um, I just kind of want to set that primer a little bit so it doesn't crease, and I'm just going to use uh, my Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect, um, just the mattifying powder. create palette from Morphe. Um, so I'm gonna first uh, dip into where did I do? Um, a transition shade. I'm just gonna use this one right here, which that one's called Sunder. Okay, next I'm gonna dip into um, the shade called Deep Hue which is gonna be this color right here. I'm gonna use like the same blending brush I was using, but I'm gonna try and mostly stay um, on the outer corner. All right, next I'm gonna go into the shade um, Expression, which is gonna be this shade right here. Also using the same brush. Now that I've gotten these three colors on my eye, I really just wanna use that same blending brush and I'm just gonna kinda of clean it off and I just wanna blend all of those on my eye. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, cut, crease, cut the crease a little bit and I'm just gonna use um, some Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just gonna um, put some on the back of my hand. Um, and then I'm gonna grab a, this is like a super cheap brush, it's probably like a dollar, but it's just a wet and wild uh, synthetic brush. It's just really nice and flat, um, and it has kind of a curved edge, so it'll help me get more defined um, up in my eyelid. I know it looks kind of weird right now, um, but we are gonna cover it up with um, some eyeshadow. Grab a, just a packing brush. Also, it's kind of a similar shape, a little fluffier and a little shorter, but I'm just gonna grab um, some color just to kind of also set this concealer a little bit. It kind of set the um, base for what color I wanna go with under the glitter. I'll go with this color here, which that color is called Artistic. I'm gonna go into the shade Slice, which is gonna be this color right here. And I'm gonna be using, um, I'll go into names because I just kinda started getting these Morphe brushes. This is an M433 brush. Mostly just gonna go kinda on the outside right here, just to kinda blend in that outer part and then also into that gold a little bit. I have pretty much all the eyeshadow on the uh, top of my lids done that I want to do. I'm going to grab uh, another, this is the exact same brush that I used for concealer, but this is just a clean one and I'm just going to use this to pack on the glitter on the lid. This I'm going to try. This is actually my first time um, using this glitter, so I'm a little nervous about it, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. Um, so before I start doing this, I do want to lay down some glitter primer, and I have just the um, NYX glitter primer, and we'll just kind of, we'll see how this goes. I'm just kind of, kind of pat it on here a little bit. I went ahead and uh, cleaned this brush off. 
I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of um, just this Mario uh, Batisco facial spray just to kind of wet it a little bit and pick up some glitter so that I, that way I can put it on my eye. So I'm just gonna be using this uh, NYX loose glitter in gold. This is gold's just like my favorite. I don't know if y'all know, um, but we're just gonna put that exactly where I put the uh, glitter primer. go ahead and clean off some of the glitter on my face or at least try to I'm just gonna use some of my cellular water and a cotton pad and just kind of run it under my eye this is why we do our eyes first if we're doing a dramatic eye while I'm at it I'm actually just gonna go ahead and kind of clean this up a little bit go ahead and apply some winged liner so that way this doesn't look totally crazy uh, but I'll go ahead and film that off camera just because I want to save some time. So I don't really want to run the risk of getting any foundation or powder on my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation first before I do my mascara and lashes today so we'll just kind of go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face and I'm just going to be using my uh, no problem primer. I'll also be using uh, my NYX, what is this, Studio Photogenic. And I'm going to be using the, um, the pore one just where I have uh, problems with my pores and then the other one everywhere else. foundation today I'm gonna to be using this uh, Clinique Beyond yeah, Beyond Perfecting concealer and foundation my best friend has been raving about this foundation and she's been wanting me to get it uh, however uh, as y'all know I am so pasty white and they're a foundation although I don't know it it looks like it might be my skin tone but it's actually just a little too dark so I'm gonna be using just a little bit of this and then I'm also gonna be using this white foundation by LA girl this foundation has like a weird applicator and really reminds me of Tarte Shape Tape and I'm okay with that because I love the uh, giant doe foot applicator on this. So I'm just gonna kinda dot this all over my face. crazy I'm just gonna blend it out with a dampened beauty blender So now that I'm all blended out, I am just going to continue with my normal routine of doing my Tarte Shape Tape. And I actually was able to get a lighter shade, so I'm pretty excited. Um, this is just the lighter shade that they have in shade Fair, and I'm just going to do that under my eye. I think I'll use my other Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Beige um, in my other areas, like on my forehead. So now that I've blended out all my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with some powder. And I'm just gonna be using that same powder that I saw about earlier, the uh, Peach Perfect by Too Faced. I just wanted to go ahead and um, press in the powder where I get the most oily. 
using my beauty blender and then I'll just use a brush to get it all over the rest of my face. So I'll just be using just my Luxie uh, brush that I usually use for powder. Okay, so now that I have my face all set and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Now that I have my eyebrows all done, we'll kind of move on, but just in case uh, you're curious, I just wanna let y'all know I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade and then I use a uh, MAC eyebrow pencil for my eyebrows. So next I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. I'm gonna contour a little bit and do some blush. So lately I've been using this Profusion Contour Palette. I got this at Target for like $7 and I really like this palette in comparison to my Shade and Light Palette. Granted, I don't feel like these colors are as pigmented as they are in the Shade and Light Palette, but since I'm so fair, it just kind of works out for me. So if you're not so fair, probably wouldn't recommend this palette to you. So I'm just gonna be using my e.l.f. Contour brush and I'm just gonna dip into the medium color. So that's this one right here. blend this just a little bit. And then next I'll go in with um, my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, just in the regular shade bronzer. blush and I'm just gonna be using like a fluffy brush sorry I'm trying to find the blush oh there it is I'm just gonna be using this little tart sample that I got it's just called party <laughs> I got this in I think it was the um, the birthday month for Sephora it's just like a really I don't know natural looking blush really natural for me I'm going to be using this other Profusion palette that I got from Target and then I think I got this one for like $5. Um, so this one, I swatched all these and they're beautiful. Uh, yesterday I used this one and I really liked it. So I think I want to go in with that one again. Um, it's just gold. So we're just going to go with the gold theme here. Um, this one is, I guess the shade's called Devoted. Just kind of tap in there with my um, R36 brush by Morphe. Spray it with some facial spray and just kind of... Just in case y'all are ever interested in getting this palette, just know that it's really, really powdery. But I think it blends really well, so I like it. All right, next, I think I wanna go ahead and move on to lashes. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so I'll need to curl my lashes. There it is. Now for mascara today, I'm just gonna be using the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous. When I'm wearing false lashes, like I really don't worry too much about using a really, really good mascara. Not that this is a bad mascara, it's totally not, but I don't worry about using a really good, really expensive mascara because if I'm putting false lashes on, like you're not gonna see my real lashes. They're really just to basically coat them black so that way you can't see them as well. So just so y'all know where I'm at with mascara. So today I'm just gonna be wearing my um, Ardell Wispies. These are like my favorite lashes to wear. I probably should get another pair of these. And I just used this 
Um, little applicator, I got these on Amazon. And then for lash glue, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Tardiest Lash Glue in Black. Now I really struggle with getting a good lash glue um, for my eyes because I have really sensitive eyes and every time I have been trying a new lash glue, it hasn't been going so well it's because it makes my eyes burn. Yesterday I was at Ulta and I was talking with a lady there and she said that this one is pretty good and it doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it that would burn your eyes. Now when you're applying false lashes, you never want to put it on right away. You want to let it kind of sit for a minute, let it get a little tacky. Usually after I get my eyelash on, I'll get my little applicator and this is why having one of these I think is really important is I'll get this and I'll go over my regular lashes and the false lashes and just kind of like clamp them together. So look at how much a difference that makes versus this side versus this side. Just love it. Especially if you're going for a more dramatic eyeshadow look, I really recommend doing um, crazier lashes just because it kind of gives more of a dramatic effect instead of like oh you just worked really hard on your eyeshadow today it's like it makes it look more complete so but if any of y'all have any uh, suggestions for me on what's a good lash glue for sensitive eyes I don't sensitive skin and skin sensitive eyes are different so I don't need one that's like for sensitive skin because I mean I have that too but like I'm more concerned about getting lash glue for sensitive eyes. So I went ahead and applied that other lash off of camera since it was kind of testing me a little bit. Um, but now we'll just kind of complete um, the eyes by putting a little bit of eyeshadow underneath and then putting a little bit of mascara. So we're just going to be going back into that Dare to Create palette. And um, I think we'll just kind of go back into the transition shade and maybe like a little bit back in here. So I'm just going to be using a small blending brush. Okay, I'm back into that darker shade called Deep Hue. Just go ahead and put some mascara on the lower lashes. So now I want to go back into that highlighting um, palette. I'm going to grab like a slightly bigger blending brush and I'm going di to dip into that same highlight shade and I just want to highlight the inner corners as if I need to highlight more because I literally have glitter on my face. <laughs> All right, and then lastly, we're just gonna move on to lips. Let's see, what lip colors did I grab today? What do I wanna do? Darker? A little more. I think I'll go ahead and go with a darker color. Um, this is a ColourPop uh, Ultra Satin Lip. It's actually the uh, Laura Lee collaboration um, with No Kill LA. So this, um, all the proceeds for this product go towards um, a No Kill shelter. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, just this Wet n Wild um, gel lip liner uh, on my lips. And then I'll go ahead and put this over. still want to um, go ahead and color in my lips and this lip liner and since this is gel it's like really easy to do all right 
Now we'll just go in with that. Um, the lipstick in this color is called Bam. So even though I lined my lips with the liner, this lipstick still kind of got um, a little messy. So I'm going to I'm gonna go in with some concealer, but I'm actually gonna use oh, I'm gonna use that foundation that I was using since I guess technically it's also a concealer. So I'll just put some of that on my hand, and I'll use just that same kind of um, synthetic brush that I used to put the concealer on my eye. Finally got it all cleaned up, at least to the best of my abilities. Um, so, but now we're just gonna kind of go on to the, the uh, final step. Oh, so we're all done, with the exception of the setting spray. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face so it can last all day or whatever. Uh, I just like using this uh, Milani Make It Last. This stuff smells so good, and I feel like it works really well. It just makes my makeup last even longer. So I'm just gonna spray it all over my face. Okay, now normally I would have my fan and I would fan my face, but I don't know where I put it. All right guys, and yeah, I guess this is the, the completed look that I have for today with um, glitter, which is amazing, I love glitter. Uh, I think that turned out really well. Um, I'm actually quite surprised because this was literally, and I'm not, I'm not kidding at all, this was literally my first time ever using glitter on my face so honestly I feel like it was really really easy to use the reason I hadn't used it before I was really intimidated by it but um, now that I know that it um, I just kind of did my research before I started doing it and um, yeah so I think really all you need uh, so the glitter isn't so intimidating is that glitter primer for sure and then one of those synthetic brushes It just kind of went on really well. I really don't have too much fallout I have just like a few flakes um, under my eye right now that have fallen off and I'm, I'm sure some more will fall during the day because I feel like it's just kind of inevitable but, but yeah, This is it um, So I'll go ahead and let y'all go um, if y'all made it to the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all watching. I really, I've uh, been enjoying doing videos with YouTube. So um, the fact that um, I have people watching until the end would just mean the world to me. So, um, but anyway, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be trying to upload as much as I can. Um, this is probably gonna be my third video this week, um, but I'm gonna try and keep the momentum going. This is something I'm feeling really, really passionate about. Um, so yeah, go ahead and subscribe, and if you liked this video, please go ahead and like it as well. Um, but anyway, I'll see y'all next time, and y'all have a wonderful day. Bye!